Alrighty, so uh, we do have a Pisces Sun Moon and as well a uh, rising weekly general tarot reading uh, March 9th to a March 15th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is say, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my, uh, to my website from where you can uh, purchase one. Uh, so that being said, moving straight away to the uh, to the reading itself. Now the first card, which represents the general topic for Pisces uh, for that particular uh, time frame of a week, is going to be the Ten of Wands. Uh, moving next here, it is the uh, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is to be the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, afterwards, what we do have, it is the challenges uh, that you will have to overcome here, Pisces. That is to be the Queen of Swords. Uh, moving next, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout this uh, week. We have the gifts and the blessings of the Fool card. Afterwards, it is the Eight of Wands. And Eight of Wands kind of shows what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. And the last one here, which uh, stands for the uh, guidance that Taro is offering. That is to be the hangman. So those uh, those five, uh, six cards. Excuse me. There six cards. Okay. Uh, it will be a quite um, a dynamic one for what it seems. There are to be a lot for you to do. Um, in case uh, you do want certain improvements into either career or relationship, but for what it seems here with those two cards. Just one second with those two cards through the energies which are swirling into the week, it does look like that you are to have a lot of, um, I would say, a opening to do something a about it. And under about it, I mean whatever you are concerned with. You know, it could be a relationship endeavor or a career endeavor as well. Because the Wheel of Fortune is the card that uh, gives you the, the green light, okay? But what you're gonna do with it, it does depend entirely on you. Therefore, under the uh, uh, under the energies of this card throughout this week, you can expect to be very busy or to have the opportunity to be very busy in terms of career, to have the opportunity to be very, um, I cannot say really busy, but let's say involved into your relationship endeavors or into your social circle as well. Now, the thing, however, with those two cards, as we can see here, the Ten of Wands, that it is sitting into the prime position, meaning the topic itself, you have to be pretty damn sure that whatever you involve yourself in, you are uh, willing to stay with it to its very end. Uh, I will try to explain what I mean here. It is that say you jump into a um, uh, some sort of a project into your career, uh, walking away from it, as uh, if you see that it will take quite a lot from you, it's not an option really. You can do it, but that will sever the uh, the positive aspect of the energies and the very least is going to present you as a very unreliable person to your boss that that is just for an example but the ten of wands uh, it kind of points that you will have to follow your own um uh, your own criteria in the sense of that you jump into something well you gotta follow it because you have chose to do it uh, however, throughout those energies, which are uh, marked by the ten, by the uh, ten, of course, major arcana ten and uh, wheel of fortune, that is usually you can utilize one of those opportunities to um, make a drastic change into one's life, uh, meaning into one's relationship or into into one's uh, career. Um, some ancient readers, if you will, or those who have cl classified the cards, uh, they are saying that, you know, that could be once in a lifetime change and it comes through the energies of the week. So the, the week is going to be very, uh, once again, a dynamic, chaotic even, and it comes up to you how well you can manage that chaos uh, and can you actually take control over the chaos itself, career-wise and relationship-wise as well. Uh, just to finalize here, based on those couple of cards, those who are lacking a options available or opportunities, uh, you are not going to lack those things any longer. Uh, the problem here throughout the week is not really the problem, but let's say the challenge uh, in the week is going to be, uh, can you handle that many of them? That That's the whole 
that's the question that needs to be answered. How many of them you can handle? Because once you start doing something, you have to stay with it to its very end. So moving next, uh, it will be uh, the challenge that you will have to overcome here. We do have a person, Queen of Swords. So these people, they are uh, pretty straightforward. That is the first thing we can say about them. Pretty emancipated and very, very experienced. And so how it appears to be a challenge to you with the Queen of Swords? Well, it looks like that you cannot rely any longer to the help that the Queen of Swords gives you. And therefore, you have to manage this new dynamic into your life without having your hand guided by, the, uh, by this particular individual. Uh, Queen of Swords, they are very capable people. Usually, whatever they start handling with they can push it through regardless of uh, how difficult it is fantastic lawyers uh, doctors as well i mean medical doctors uh, people who are sticking with the science rather than with the spiritual aspect of our world and um, you simply once again you can't rely on their help and on their experience as well so unfortunately you have to that will be the challenge once again to tackle with those with this new dynamic and chaos so to speak on your own and under chaos i want to i, I want to touch a little bit more on that so say the dynamic of the week is represented by a storm okay and uh, within the storm it is the chaos well you fortunately pisces are going to be in the very eye of the storm meaning that everything around you it will be chaotic but you for one or another reason is not going to be affected by this chaos and it's up to you to rule the chaos okay because only the weak people aim for order and um yeah pretty much for order while the strongest one they prefer to rule the chaos so that is what is given to you here for what it seems you know to show yourself capable to show yourself strong uh more or less so moving next uh, we do have uh, gifts and the blessings and that is uh, the four card and i touched on the rare opportunity to change your life and that is uh, that is what the blessing really gives you because the four we cannot see it in any way around or in any other way here than that you are blessed with an opportunity for a new beginning okay it's just as simple as that new relationship new job you name it uh the problem with the four and i'm touching on the problem because people can get carried away with uh, this exhilarating new opening or a new green light that they may face throughout uh, throughout the week for you pisces it is that uh, there could be some predicaments that you are anticipating to face uh, along the way and those predicaments could abate your enthusiasm say to move forward and co completely capitalize on this particular blessing that comes with the four card the new beginning so uh the four urges you to be a bit more carefree and to give expression to your ideas because as a blessing card it does point that whatever idea you do have regardless of how immature it may looks like or regardless of how ridiculous even preposterous at some points it may seem actually nobody can really tells you is this can be manifest uh, can this be manif manifested or can this be not manifested at all and according to the four, as long as the idea sticks to the, um, how can I say it, to the civilization. So you don't have that ridiculous idea to live on the moon, for example, but sticks with the norm of the civilization is something, is something accomplishable. Okay, uh, you can definitely get there. Uh, at some point into the future, not throughout this week. Throughout this week, it is just the uh, initial impulse and momentum where you get the green light that's saying yes now i have the opening now i have that opportunity to make the changes i need in order to start proceeding or pushing forward toward my idea that's great you know but you also need to have once again the um the tenacity if you will and the sense of uh, reliability to stick with it to its very end and to follow the rules that is also very important with the ten of wands so moving next it is how people are going to uh, see you what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around couple of impressions here it is what we do have 
uh, eight of wands the little brother of the wheel of fortune so people see you very very lucky and also people are going to see you as a gambler that you are gambling with your well-being at that point jeopardizing your current uh, safety of uh, or the uh, jeopardizing the safety of the current situation for a favor of a, a green light or an opening that it may produce results but it may not produce results as well and uh, uh, the negative part, part, part of that it is that people will be a bit baffled you know why you're doing this to yourself but nothing more drastic than uh, than this also um if that uh, that may not make much sense for many of you but people also are going to see you how you're unfolding your intellectual capacity with the eight of wands that is very common for the card itself and under intellectual capacity it is that you are facing now the opportunities with clear-headed mind rather than to narrow your vision upon a only one particular thing and the final one it will be the guidance that Taro is offering we do have the hangman so i said it a few times now patience uh patience in the sense that everything happens when the time comes right and that is what the hangman says that the events that we are meant to go through they linger and they are hanging in the void and they're waiting for us to get there and the time to come right. So the hangman here as a guidance points that this week is going to be simultaneously a, 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 a breakthrough for you and also a, a test of faith. In a sense of that, should you have not just only the patience, but as well the determination to wait for the right moment to come around, then uh, whatever predicament you are to face along the way, through, uh, through uh, or toward your goal are to be resolved but if you try to push it not much is to be uh, not much is to be accomplished really because with the hangman being pushy and being uh, say tenacious trying to get the things at all cost right now in this very moment usually proves one's efforts to turn out entirely futile so uh the hangman uh, overall the hangman as a guidance tells you pisces that if it doesn't work this week or if it doesn't work at that point whatever you're trying to execute give it a few days of a uh, of time you know give it a some time to develop on their own on its own accord and as soon as it shapes itself in a form that you can actually do something about it then do something about it so don't stress yourself out uh, but it is uh, literally how you can translate that card because everything will happen when the time comes right so that being said pisces this was your weekly general tarot reading march 9th to march 15 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below will give you a link to my website from which you can choose a service of uh, what is going to see, which is going to suit you best and as soon as you make your purchase i'm going to contact you within 24 hours giving you details depending on the purchase that you have made how the reading is going to take place uh, and hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye